Hi hey everyone, this is going to be a demo on how to complete the College of Education Makale application to applying for one of our Bachelor of Education dual certification programs in special education. Um, so what you see here is the home screen when you go to makale.coe.hawaii.edu. If you are currently a UH student, then you can go ahead and just log in using your UH username and password. However, if you're not and you're transferring or you're just up now applying to UH, you're going to need to actually create an account first down here using a personal email account. And then what will happen is um, once you complete that, you'll be emailed a confirmation with a link that will bring you back. Um, and then you can use your personal email and password from that point on to log back into the application whenever you need to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, so um, if you have started an application before, you'll come to this journey page. Otherwise, it might take you straight into starting a new application. Um, otherwise, if you do come here, you can just say start a new journey. Okay, so you are applying for a bachelor's degree. And then when you select your program, you're going to have to choose the, the, the track that you're looking at. So be careful because there's quite a few tracks and you want to make sure that you're picking the right one. So if you are looking at the statewide online early childhood and early childhood SPED, you would need to pick this one. So BED early childhood and early childhood special education. This one is the one that's available across all islands for licensure in preschool to grade three. Otherwise, if you're going to be on Oahu and you want dual uh, licensure in elementary and special education, then you would be applying for the BED Exceptional Students and Elementary Education Program, so what we call ESEE. Again, this program is for kindergarten to grade six, um, but it's, it's on Oahu only, so this is the one where you would need to be on Oahu. So for the demo, I'm going to go ahead and select the Early Childhood and Early Childhood SPED and say Start Journey. So what you want to do is make sure that you select everything correctly. So uh, we're going to start for fall 2020 for both of these programs. It is a licensure program. Um, you are going to be doing the blended early childhood and early childhood SPED program. Um, it is statewide, which means it is available on all islands. And therefore, you would need to say, well, which island are you going to be on during the program? Um, and so, yeah, depending on which one, you just list that. If you are doing this as a second uh, bachelor's degree, then you can say yes. Otherwise, just leave this as no. Push continue. Okay, so the most important part about this application is this admission checklist. So you want to go ahead and push start. And you need to make sure that all of these components are met. And so, for example, apply to UH system. Now this is only applicable if you're not already a UH Manoa student. So some that are transferring from other community colleges or UH Maui College or other institutions, anytime you're transferring um, directly, you also need to complete this UH system application. Um, otherwise, if you're already at UH Manoa, then don't even worry about it. Um, but everyone needs to just say yes, that you've either completed the application form or you don't need to. So push save. Cumulative GPA, you need to have a 2.75 for these programs. So just say that you understand. Um, you also need to have finished already 55 credits. Again, this is where you would need to have met with one of our academic advisors in OSAS to just verify everything, but say yes. Um, you need to have completed all the general education core requirements, for example, um, Math 111, Math 112, Hawaiian Studies 107. Again, if you're um, transferring from one of our articulated agreements with the community college, then that means you've pretty much completed everything. Um, and you should have met with an academic advisor to go off all of these things before you apply, but just basically say that you have met all the core requirements. For the prerequisite courses, um, for the, the difference is, is that if you are applying to the early childhood dual in early childhood 
early childhood SPED, you're actually able to take your prerequisites um, within the program. Whereas if you're doing the exceptional students in elementary education, then you do need to make sure that you've completed or will be completing those uh, licensure trial prerequisites before starting the program. So check the box to say you understand, you've met everything you need to do. Okay, so 40 hours of documented group leadership experience. Um, the form is here. Uh, you need to fill it out, have it signed, um, and then you can actually upload it. So if you're able to scan it in, you can upload it directly using this link. Otherwise, you can also email it, fax it, or mail it. And so here's all the options. Um, let's say that you're in the process of completing your 40 hours. Then you still want to check the box that says you will fulfill it. Um, and then you can just submit it later. So write down the information on how to submit it. Um, but you want to just make sure that everything's checked off so you can actually apply. Okay, you are going to do an interview. So what you need to do is you need to click on this link and download it. So this will be the instructions on how to set up your um, your interview date, um, which will be February 7th for priority deadline applicants. Um, or sorry, they're going to be here on February 14th or March 13th. So that's when we're going to be holding interviews. So just so that you understand and that you know you will be doing an interview. Okay, personal statement and essay. So think of, a, think of the most influential teacher you've had. Um, tell us who that person is, including their name, level, and school, and how why that person impacted you the most. Then afterwards, tell us what unique qualities and skills you have that would make you a successful teacher. Um, and we're looking for about one page. Of course, this is not set in stone, so if you go a little over, it's fine. Um, I do recommend that you draft it in like a Word document using spell check and, and just rereading it before you actually copy and paste it directly in here. Otherwise, you are able to just type in this box if you want to. But do not check this box until it's complete because once you check that box and click save, you actually will not be able to edit anymore. If you come in here and you're not ready to submit it, you can go up here and just push on the X. Okay, you do need to list three professional references. Um, so their name, email, phone number, and kind of how you know them. And um, that's it. So you don't need letters or anything like that. And then the last thing is repeated courses. So this is really helpful if, let's say, you're close to the 2.75 GPA or you're a little below it. If you go ahead and you list the courses that you've ever repeated, so list when you took it the first time, what you got, and then list when you retook it and what you got, then they can actually adjust your GPA for admissions purposes. Um, otherwise, if your GPA is above 2.75 um, or you've never repeated courses, you go ahead and just check the box. So I can't take you much farther than this because everything needs to kind of be checked off and submitted. Just keep in mind that there are going to be a few additional pages that you're going to need to continue clicking on. Once all of these green checks are done, this button will light up and you can go and just confirm that everything's correct. You'll have to put in your social security number. They give you a lot of information related to just understanding that you are going to have to do fingerprinting and background checks and get liability insurance. But you don't need to worry about all of that right now they're just trying to make you aware of it so just continue on until it says thank you for submitting your application um, if you have any questions or you need support please don't hesitate to email me at spedinfo at hawaii.edu